Mr. Speaker, I rise today in opposition to H.R. 397 because it's nothing more than a huge step backward in our work to save failing multi-employer pensions. It's the government picking retiree winners and retiree losers. Our work in Congress until now has been bipartisan, with both sides realizing that workers' retirement security is too important of an issue to play politics with. I and others have been willing to work across the aisle for a bipartisan solution. That works uh, for retirees and for taxpayers. That offer is still open. Uh, the idea that Congress should uh, bail out union-negotiated pension plans, but not the retirement plans of millions of other Americans who've seen their companies go under and had their benefits reduced as a result, is the, uh, the most unfair proposals I've seen on the House floor. Democrats are telling hard-working Americans that they should not only get stiffed in their retirement, but their taxpayer dollars should be used to bail out someone else's retirement. To make matters worse, the bill itself is deeply flawed. It requires no fundamental changes to pension plans in poor financial shape and no reforms to ensure that trouble plans and the Pension Benefit Guarantee Corporation don't wind up in the same situation again. Instead, the bill gives these plans a so-called loan and then allows the loan principal to be forgiven if the plan cannot repay the loan. Simply put, this is not a loan. It's a taxpayer-funded gift. Why would anybody pay it back? This doesn't have to be partisan. In 2014, as chairman of the Health, Employment, Labor, and Pensions Subcommittee, I worked with the full committee chair, Klein, and ranking member Miller, and the Obama administration to develop a bipartisan solution to save these plans. Our plan, the Multi-Employer Pension Reform Act, gave uh, plans the tools they needed to avoid insolvency and continue offering benefits to retirees. So if we pass such a good bipartisan bill, why are we here today? Unfortunately, the Obama administration made a political decision and refused to approve an application for the country's largest trouble plan, central states. And while many supporters of today's bill cheered that decision, the Obama administration virtually ensured central state retirees will receive far less in their retirement than they would have or could have all because the Obama administration preferred politics over policy. I still have hope that the Senate will act in a more responsible manner. The concept of the multi-employer pension plan is a good one and an idea worth saving. But I would say this, uh, this to supporters of this bill, by choosing to act in a largely partisan manner, you're further jeopardizing retiree benefits. Literally, every day, Madam Speaker, these plans fail to act as a step closer to bankruptcy. Today's action may be the final nail in the coffin for central states whose plan is in such dire straits that they cannot wait another 18 months for a fix. Outside central states, there are many other pension plans in crisis, but all assuring that the PBGC multi-employer plan will be insolvent by the end of FY 2025. We have less than six years to solve this problem before retirees receive pennies on the dollar for what they've earned. Thank you. I, I yield back to time, and I recommend voting against this bill. Thank you, Madam Speaker.